Hey, hope everyone's had a really good week so far. So the boat building news roundup for this week. Um, Silent Yachts builder of Solar Electric Yachts has revealed its first dedicated tender design, the Silent Tender 400. So the Silent Tender 400 is an electric tender that measures four meters and the boat borrows a number of the style cues from the boat builder's much larger 60 foot and 80 foot electric catamarans, including the angular lines and the black and white finish. So the model's carbon fibre layup ensures that the hull weighs no more than 90 kilograms, which means it's light enough to be lifted out using the hydraulic bathing platform of a Silent 60, easier for the mothership to carry and crucially, far more efficient to propel through the water. So designed to carry six people, the Silent Tender 400 was conceived as a tender for the solar-powered Silent 60 series yachts, but the model can also make a really great electric runabout or an efficient tender for a conventional yacht as well. So for performance reasons, uh, Silent Yachts has engineered the boat to carry either a standard 16 kilowatt an hour lithium battery or an upgraded 20 kilowatt an hour unit for more range. So at a 10 knot cruising speed, owners can expect a minimum of two hours drive time, but fast onboard charging can replenish the battery in just two and a half hours. And after years of engineering and testing, Dutch company Eldorado is now raising 1.75 million euros to finalize construction of its first commercial powerboat, the Eldorado 8S. So this is an 8 metre, all electric, digitally connected power boat with proprietary hydrofoil technology. So Eldorado says its combination of retractable hydrofoils and electric twin drive system means the AS quite literally takes off and drag is reduced by more than 60% compared to conventional planing hulls. So the boat can reach up to 38 knots at top speed and has a range of 40 nautical miles at cruising speed. And the company is funded by a group of private investors including technology entrepreneur Stephen Sherman. And Disney has announced that it'll be basing a cruise ship outside the USA, and it's bought Global Dream. So the fate of Global Dream was unsure, but now Disney says its acquisition of the partially completed ship will bring the magic to new global destinations. So the 208,000 gross tonne ship is expected to be among the first in the cruise industry to be fueled by green methanol, which is one of the lowest emission fuels available. And Disney Cruise Line expects the passenger capacity to be around 6,000 with around 2,300 crew members and it'd be adorned with Mickey Mouse inspired colours, so the black and white with a splash of red. Construction will be completed under the management of Mayor Werft, the same company that built the Disney Dream, the Disney Fantasy and the Disney Wish. So the ship's previous owner filed for bankruptcy before completing the vessel, enabling Disney Cruise Line to secure it at a favourable price. So the project also secures employment for hundreds of former employees and will provide opportunities for numerous maritime industry suppliers in the region. So the ship will be renamed with certain features reimagined and is expected to set sail in 2025. I um, hope everyone's got a really great weekend planned and I'll catch up with you next week.